do you want to know how to rig your FPS models for your game in just uh, three or four minutes? First, delete the extra general queue. Second, import your model from uh, wherever you have downloaded into your Blender file. You will have problems like this. There might be problems in your leaf bones and etc. Delete the extra bones. Select the bones and delete them. X, delete. Your hands might go berserk. Resize them back to the original size. Press N, bring out the tool tab, resize them. Third, set origin, origin to geometry. And then change your location to 0, 0, 0. Do the rotations however you want uh, to best suit your position. Next, press Shift A and then go to Armature. Do Human Metarig. Select the bone, press Tab, delete all the extra bones except the head, hand part. You will get with this. Select all. Press tab. Resize them. Bring them back and align them with the hand. Before that, first go to bone section. This part. Then just go to view di viewport display and tap in front. Then uh, align them with your model. Press tab and align. As you can see, I have aligned my model here. Then after, then after this, pre, uh, press this, this, take this bone, press tab, press this circular part near the wrist, and before that, turn on your mirror X, then extrude. Name it whatever you want. I will name it left IK, and the right part as right IK. Now go to pose mode, select this forearm bone, then go to constraints, this section, and then select inverse kinematics. Take the target as your that extended IK bone, name that bone which you have done as left IK, then select the pole target or maybe leave it. And then select the chain length as uh, how, ma how, man how many bones to be following the inverse kinematics. And uh, now, if you will see, if you just tap this bone, it won't do anything. After extrusion, turn off the X mirror axis, select the wrist bone or arm bone, whatever you want to tell, and then the IK bone. Do Ctrl P, keep offset. And now, if you will go to pose mode and try to move it. You can see your whole arm will move. Do the same for right part. Select this. Go to edit mode first. First select the arm bone, then this bone. Do control P, keep offset. Now you will see this bone will also move, same as the other. And don't forget to add the IK bone. IK. Select this IK bone, right IK branch. And now you can see this bone will also behave as the same and your hand is ready for animation.